About a week ago, a vice president from Mercedes-Benz High Powered Charging was interviewed, and a lot of detail was given during that interview, which I'll link down below in the description. Let's go ahead and get into the update. I'm kind of glad I didn't do the update when I first got this interview information, which I was thinking of doing, but life got busy, and since this time, multiple sites have been spotted under construction, so it's probably a good thing. During the interview, uh, it was mentioned that NAX retrofits will be at all sites to some of the stalls, similar, I'm assuming, to the IANA proportions, which is about, I think, 30% or 40% of the stalls have NAX. All future buckies will have her Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging, and the number of 55 buckies was specifically mentioned. I'm not quite sure where he gets that number. I think that's all the buckies in the buckies portfolio, but we'll get to some of the locations that are known to be under construction and um, what state they're in. Simon Mall partnership was also mentioned, as well as the Starbucks starting on Interstate 5 in California and proceeding nationwide. So I-5 is not the length and breadth of that project. They're gonna be going to other Starbucks locations throughout the country after they finish with I-5. The last bit of information here I found most interesting. Mr. Schmidt mentioned that by 2027, there will be uh, 2.5 thousand stalls under their management. Now, if you do the math on that, they have 140 stalls currently open. So uh, that is uh, 3.21 per day if you do uh, two years worth of days. So that's about two stations per week. Now, that's much faster than they have been doing. They've only been doing about, I don't know, 10, 12 stations per year. Uh, so one station every four weeks or three weeks or something like that. So um, much faster increase. So I'm guessing up to this point, it was just um, preparing the team in order for game day. And now they're getting ready to hit the field. This is what we currently have open. The first row is a phase two location, but you can see all the pricing is kind of right around the same at uh, the low 50% or low 50 cents per kilowatt hour. Bucky's has a way of filtering their locations with the Mercedes-Benz high power charging. And likely this is going to be just about all the Bucky's after all is said and done, if the press releases are to be released or the uh, information from the interview. Plugshare has a way of filtering Mercedes-Benz locations. So they're getting ready to be a large player in the CPO space. And this is the Texas Triangle. And I use this to look into PlugShare to see which one of these are spotted under construction. And a couple of them are. I'll get to that in just a second. These are other buckies outside of Texas. And you'll notice that two are missing. That's because they've been spotted under construction. Uh, the two that are not known to be under construction, but likely are, if I had to guess, are Smith's Grove, Kentucky and Johnstown, Colorado. And the arbitrary heat map showing locations that they're going to be building into, obviously the Texas Triangle, the Atlanta area, Interstate 95, and Interstate I-5, but no specifics really from that graphic. Springfield, Missouri is now spotted under construction. You can see that there's Alpitronic hyperchargers in the ground. This picture is a little bit dated, so it's very likely to be commissioned shortly off Interstate 44. This is Melissa, Texas on US 75 on the northeast end of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Alpitronic hyperchargers in the ground. This is a permit which mentions eight stalls uh, for Alpitronic hyperchargers. It's on the northwest end of the Dallas Metroplex in a town called Denton, Texas off Interstate I-35 East. Uh, Serville, Serverville, I always have a hard time pronouncing the name of this town. Um, really, it's Kodak, uh, Tennessee, is the name of the town. Spotted by Michael, I think it's Gilly or Jilly. He's a YouTuber, chimed into a um, video of mine, left a comment mentioning that this has officially been spotted with Alpitronic hyperchargers. And we thought this was going to be phase one, but it wasn't. But now we can officially confirm in phase two this is under construction. So off Interstate 81 I-40, which coalesced for a certain part of uh, the two of theirs routes. It's a really good location. From the last update, there's been no change. This is Auburn, Alabama, which is southwest of Atlanta likely very close to being commissioned. And this is Calhoun, Georgia, currently open and operational with ChargePoint as the OCPP backend provider, 12 stalls. Thanks for watching.